If you're running a WordPress site, you'll know that WordPress 5 has just been released and with it, the Gutenberg editor is now the editor of choice installed directly into Core. Now, this is something you may not want to use. You might be holding off updating your site. You might be holding off starting a new site. Well, today's video is going to show you an alternative to how you can get around that problem. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so we've got Classic Press. This gives us two options to avoid using the normal WordPress. We've got the option to migrate an existing WordPress site over to use Classic Press or we can start from scratch. In this video, we're going to take a look at both of those, and I'll put a timestamp in the description below. So if you want to jump over to the download and install Classic Press, you can jump to that. But the first part of this video is all about the migrating an existing WordPress site over. So what I've done is I've created a demo site, and as you can see, everything is set up now. It's asking me to update to version 5 of WordPress, which we don't want to do. So there's a couple of things you need to do first of all. First, the most important thing is to make sure that you've got all your plugins and everything up to date. And then if you come into the plugin section, you'll see we've got a new plugin installed in there, which is the switch to Classic Press option, which you can download from the classicpress.com website. Once you've done that, we're simply going to activate that and it now gives us the option to go through and switch things over. So you can see there's the switch option. So let's just take a look at the site itself. You can see it's more of a blog kind of thing. It's just a demo of Ocean WP, so it's all just quickly and easily set up. We've got a gallery on here. We've got a couple of plugins installed. We've got Elementor and Elementor Pro installed. We've got a blog section. The kind of thing you'd expect to see on a typical WordPress site. So let's go through the overall migration process. It's pretty straightforward. We've uploaded the plugin, we've activated it. Now if we hit switch, we can go through the process of switching over to Classic Press. So once we've activated the plugin and gone through the switch process, you can see we're taken over to the switch to Classic Press options. It'll now go through and just check to make sure that all the things it requires are all installed up to date and everything is good to go. So you see this will only work with versions 4.9 up to 4.98. If you're running an older version than that, you're going to need to make sure that you update to 4.98 at the latest, not 5 obviously, and that way then you can go through this. It'll also go through and check to make sure that you've got the right PHP version, etc, etc, etc. So everything is looking good to go. Always make a backup of your entire site just to make sure that if anything goes wrong, you can reinstate it and get it back to exactly where it was prior to installing this plugin, ready to start making that migration. I also recommend just reading through to make sure that everything is understandable and you know exactly what you're doing. Once you're doing that though, we're ready to go and we're going to click on switch this site to Classic Press now. So we're going to click on there, that's going to run through the process. Now this can take up to 60 seconds to go through the whole process. Part of it depends on the speed of your internet connection, so you can see it has to download files for this installation. So once that's completed, it'll go through, unpack everything and go through the migration process. There we go. We now finished that entire migration. You can see it gives us some feedback and information. We've got some credits and so on. So we've now switched over from the normal WordPress over to Classic Press. Now this is still an early version, so I'm sure there may be a couple of little quirks or bugs in there, but it is a viable option. But obviously test this on a test site before you use this on a live site, just to ensure that everything works, that your compatibility with all your plugins, page builder, etc., 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 all work flawlessly. So when that's stage done, let's just jump over to our site and take a look just to make sure that everything is operating and looking the way we'd expect it to. So let's jump over to our test site. You can see there's our homepage. Let's refresh that to make sure that we've got the latest update version showing and displaying on screen. So everything's looking pretty good on here. Everything looks like it was when we first started with the original WordPress. You can see that our gallery is all in place. We can click outside there. We can jump up to our about section. Everything's looking good in there. Let's jump over to our blog and make sure that's looking cool too. There we go. There's all the different sections. Let's just click through and just check one of the blog posts and everything is looking great on there. Finally, the contact section and all looking good. I like it. So we jump back over to the dashboard and take a look just to see if there's any differences in here, just to make sure that everything is working the way we'd expect it to. Jump over to our dashboard. You can see everything is looking pretty good in there. Everything's looking the way we'd expect. Come into our post section and we'll come into all posts. You can see there's all my posts. Everything's looking the way you'd expect in there. We can come in and edit anything. 
We can open Elementor, OceanWP is all working fine. Everything looks exactly as you expect it to with a normal copy of WordPress without that Gutenberg or classic editor issue that we had before. So let's just open up Elementor just to make sure that everything works okay in the back end side of things. And if that's all okay, we are good to go. So as you can see, everything operates the way you'd expect it to inside our WordPress done through Classic Press. So that's the first method of using Classic Press. If you already have a site, this migration option is going to be great for you. But if you don't have a site ready and you want to start from scratch, this next section is going to take you through and show you the process and how it all works with Classic Press as opposed to WordPress. Now to download and install Classic Press is pretty much exactly the same as you do with WordPress. Only difference being we go to classicpress.net, we click on download Classic Press, that'll then take us over. We can choose the download Classic Press beta, beta, if I could say those words. Once we've done that, that'll take us over to GitHub and we can then download the actual beta version of Classic Press. Once you've done that, all you need to do is upload that to your server, create your database like you'd normally do when you're creating a WordPress site. Then that's going to bring us into the installer. So the setup is all ready to go. Exactly the same as WordPress. So all we need to do is choose the language you want, which is mine is English UK. Click on continue. That'll take us over, give us that normal warning, just telling us about we need to do things like connect to the database, etc. Click on let's go. It's going to pre-fill out some information. You can see the database is put in is Classic Press, where you can change that to whatever you've set up for yours, your username and password, the database host. The only difference you can see from a normal WordPress install, instead of the table prefix being WP, it's CP in this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my details, click on Submit, and that then should go through and say, if everything's OK, it's going to allow us to run the installation. So we'll click on that. You can see we go through there and we've got the ability to go and create our site title. So we'll just call this Classic Press. Username, that's fine, I'll leave that as is. Password, we'll just put password in, just make my life easier. And we'll just drop in my email address. And we'll discourage. So nothing, any difference to what you'd expect to do inside WordPress itself. So install Classic Press. Once we've done that, that should go through and allow us to log in. So there we go, click on Login. Just quickly put my login details in and click on login and that then should take us over. And as you can see, we now get a slightly different welcome message from what we normally expect. And we've got some information then about Classic Press. We've got different bits and pieces in there. That's a little bit different from WordPress, but the core functionality is pretty much identical to WordPress. Like I say, without all those extra worries of dealing with WordPress 5 and also dealing with that Gutenberg editor. So with something like Classic Press, it gives you an option. If you don't want to go over to WordPress 5.0, you don't have to. You've got an option. You could use something like Classic Press. And hopefully what you've seen is the migration process is incredibly simple. But also, if you want to install a fresh version, it's pretty much exactly the same as what you do with WordPress. It's something you're already used to doing. So could you see yourself using Classic Press? Or do you see yourself being one of those people that's quite happy to work with the Gutenberg editor and WordPress 5.0? Or have you come across an alternative option to give you WordPress 5 but not rely on that Gutenberg editor? If you have or give any feedback at all, drop this in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started and see what your plans for WordPress 5 and moving on kind of entail. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Test. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added. Until next time, take care.